Hey everyone, my name is Thomas. Welcome to my channel. So this is update number eight for my Burning Gundam slash God Gundam uh, helmet build. Here is the front of the mat of the helmet. This took about one day and twenty hours to print. I had to stop it towards the end. Um, there was something off with the model where it left a gap, so the center it didn't print. So I end up having to print the top. So I have to work on getting this to close the gap. Kind of like that. And then I would just cut that top part off and then just weld this new top on there. And this helmet fits almost perfect. And as you can tell, it fits really well. The first time I printed the helmet, it was way too small. Let's just say that it was small enough to put on my almost three-year-old. It, it fits her perfectly. And she's only she's gonna be three in a couple months. So here is the back of the helmet. Turned out great. And the way I printed this, the front of the part, I printed it like this, standing straight up. I had, it auto-generated supports and I had it at uh, 65 degree overhang. So I had supports here and here, which ran all the way down. And then you had all the supports down here to make it flat while it was printed. And I had the speed going about 130 to 140 and I, I mean initially I was going at like 150 to 165 because it was at the bottom I can go much faster and as you can see on the sides I have some pretty nice detail on there just a little bit of cleaning up right here but nothing too serious which is great and as you can see there's very, you can see some layer lines but that'll get covered up very easily with the some, doing some sanding and then some filler primer. Okay, the back of the helmet, I printed it facing, hang on a second. Oh, I had it printing like this. And that took about 20 hours or so when I had it moving pretty fast. I had it going about 100, 140 millimeters per second. As you can see, there's still some layer lines on here but that'll easily be removed with some sanding and then some filler primer on top of that. Okay. The next thing I printed were the upper, no, these are the lower antennas. And I was able to print each one individually. And they took about five hours. Cause I, I had the printer going at probably 155 to 165 millimeter, millimeters per second because with the enclosure I can do that with this. So I still have to work on taking these supports off and the infill on these is about 8% because I printed it when I initially did it the first time which turned out to be too small. I did like 2% infill and I felt like I was going to break it when I was taking these um, supports off. So at eight, it feels a lot stronger. Okay, and here are the two lower antennas. Let's see. Again, these are at like 5% infill, maybe a little higher. I forget exactly what I had it, but I printed these both out on one single bed and I was able to have it done in about like five, six hours maybe, because I have the speed going at like 150, 160 uh, millimeters per second. Um, the next part I have, I'm not quite sure what to call this part, but this goes on the top, to like towards the back of the helmet. So, and I printed this standing directly, nope, this way. I had it standing like this and I did the overhang, I believe I had it at 20 degrees. So I had a lot of support here, but that was good just to hold this whole thing up so it didn't fall when I was printing. And I had the majority of this print going at like 170 millimeters per second. 
And then once it got up higher, I slowed it down to make sure that it didn't fall. And the last, the next part I have, I guess we call this like the front camera, because when I did some research on it, this is pretty much where it feeds into the cockpit so the pilot can see what's going on. It's not only just the eyes, they also would have this as well for like their camera. And I have to figure out how to attach these antenna to this. But luckily, I have a that smaller helmet that I have printed. I have these already so I can test it and I can try to figure out how to attach these and not ruin it and have to reprint it again. So, um, I think that was, let me just make sure I got all the parts. Yeah, so those are all the parts for the uh, Burning Gundam helmet. I got the files from DO3D. It was one of the times they were having a sale. I think it was 50% uh, off at the time. Or it was one of the times where you buy one, you get one 50% off. Or no, you buy one, you get one half off. You buy one, you get one free. Excuse me. But Burning Gundam was my favorite. Um, if anybody knows where I could find Shining Gundams, um, STL files, please leave a comment below. I've searched everywhere. I cannot find them anywhere. And I would really like to get the files for that suit. I wanted to build the helmet. And I wanted to have it where it has like the swivels for when the, the face plate opens up and the things in the back go out and the thing in the top goes up. I, I think that would be pretty cool to have. You could do like a little, um, a little linchpin or something just so it can swivel out or swivel out and do whatever it needs to do when it goes into its hyper mode. Um, so that's going to be it for right now. I have, like I said, I've got to work on taking the supports off of a couple parts. I've got to put that new top on here. I've got to clean up around the eyes a bit more because you can see it's still pretty rough in there because when I printed it, I had the eyes in there and I shouldn't have had that in there because Getting in here, it, it stinks because it, it's really hard to get in there with a pair of pliers or um, a panel scriber to try to get that or use a utility knife to chip away at it. Because also with a utility knife, I don't want to ding up anything. I don't want, excuse me, I don't want to put like huge gouges in this. So I'm going to take my time with it. So, and also if anybody knows I have the um, Iron Man cosplay eyes. If there's any way that I can change that color to go from the white to green so it can match for any kind of Gundam, please let me know in the comments below. Um, so that's pretty much going to be it for tonight. So again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell to get notified when I post new videos. Bye.